really cool to see kind of when you pull 2019 all the way through year to date, because you can really see 2019 was a great year for us. Uh, and then we had the slowdown in 2020, and then we had the recovery in 2021. And now, like I said before, our inquiries, tours, everything is really up in 2022. The only thing that's a little, that's down really when you look across the board are unpaid referrals. I don't know if that has to do with, you know, the amount of unpaid referrals. I think they went from, for independent living, we were getting 10 a month, maybe, and now we're getting seven or eight. So we're talking a couple, and that's per community. Uh, I don't know if there's just more competition. And so it's spreading that out, the amount of referrals available to those communities. Uh, but, but using those numbers can be really helpful for sales leaders, marketing leaders to actually put in goals that are that make sense. Uh, not just kind of, hey, let's pull a number out and say, hey, we should be at, at 20 referrals a month. Well, that's just not in line with market. We know we have to look at what we can do internally, but we also have to look at the external market. And the external market is a lot of times the things that we can't see. And so this really gives you that information. But I would say, you know, as far as just the 2022 averages for inquiries, I, I gave you those for AL memory care, it's really around 32 inquiries a month. You should be getting 48 to the high side, the 75th percentile. And then tours, you should be getting nine average. The high, you know, high performers get 14 initial tours. I always am a skeptic around conversion rates because conversion rates also depend on how much volume you're getting. Like there's so many different metrics to look at. And so I can tell you a little story about a, a contact center client we just uh, actually activated before September. So they, they were using CRM. Um, they averaged about 30 call-in inquiries. So I took out anything from the web, anything from a paid referral that's just getting put into the site. And these are just call-in inquiries. So they average across, across this handful of communities, 30 inquiries, uh, approximately, I think it was 31. Um, and then when we went live with the contact center, started answering every single call, they averaged 60. And this wasn't 60 for in, in September, which by the way, is one of the lowest performing months when you look when you look across the board, but they averaged that same thing for October. So we knew it wasn't just a fluke, but their, but their inquiry to tour conversion went down. Um, it went down, I think it was um, 50% in, uh, in September and October, and it went down from 70%, but still they netted 10 more tours, even with that conversion rate. And so when you look at kind of holistically, I think the first gap to plug is really, are we capturing every single inquiry that's coming in? Because once we can really make sure we're doing that, then we know if we have a lead gen problem or we have a closing problem. And you can look at the conversion rates a little bit different. When you don't plug that hole, you really don't have any information because you could be generating a ton of leads, but no one's, no one's capturing them. So some of those things you can start to look to get through at the data and say, yeah, maybe we went down 20% in our conversion, but we went up 50% in our captured call. -in. And oh, by the way, those convert so much better than a web lead, for example, or so much faster. So those are the types of things that, that we are pulling into our data.